Hello, school zone speed cameras have come under great fire by some members of the public as Common Council members now review a proposal to get them taken down. Mayor Byron Brown is also weighing in on the issue today. Tonya Sides Dave McKinley is holding people in power accountable tonight. Common council members who want to end the program say the message to do so from their constituents has been loud and clear. Mayor Brown has been a supporter of the cameras. You've heard the hue and cry from the public, Your Honor. Have you, have you changed your stance at all on this? Not at all. I've heard concerns from a few, not many. Brown insists the majority of the outcry has been from a vocal minority and dismissed the claim by council member Rashid Wyatt in particular that the program's been a failure. This program has begun to reduce speeds in school zones. Meanwhile, Wyatt's resolution to get rid of the cameras is undergoing a language review before being presented to the entire council. But when we asked his honor if, should they pass such a measure, would he then use his veto power, something he's almost never done in his 15 years as mayor, he refused to say. Why not? Why not answer the question right now? Well, we want the council to look at the data. We want them to do the right thing. The data shows that people are slowing down. He claims since the city installed the cameras and began finding drivers 50 bucks for going 10 miles per hour or more over the posted 15 mile per hour speed limit, that compliance has increased 82 percent. South District Council Member Chris Scanlon also supports the cameras. They're absolutely imperative to slowing people down driving through school zones. And though he'll entertain calls for other traffic calming measures like bigger signs, speed humps, even painting streets in front of a school of vibrant color that could get people to slow down without being fined, the cameras should stay. I don't think it has to be an either or situation. I think they can complement one another. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.